So something that I found pretty interesting but also very disturbing at this point is the <laughs> Republicans in Congress and the Senate, at least some of them, are proposing more leftist or progressive ideas economic wise to help help out uh, you know the working people in the US due to the just huge economic downturn depression recession whatever you want to call it that's been caused due to the coronavirus pandemic so for example you have the Republican senator and former presidential candidate Mitt Romney senator from Utah now who is proposing um, I believe it's like a UBI of a thousand bucks a month. I don't know if that was a one-time proposal or um, if it was, you know, maybe for the duration of the, uh, you know, of this pandemic. And then I believe it was Senator Tom Cotton was also proposing something even beyond that. And then you have Steve Mnuchin, Trump's Treasury Secretary, I believe is also proposing a um, thousand dollar check to most Americans with more likely more payments coming after that juxtapose that to the Democratic leadership response to this and it's pretty paltry in comparison you have Kamala Harris former presidential candidate as well senator from California who was proposing $250 per person or it's like $500 for a family so a whole four times less than what Republican Senator Mitt Romney was proposing as well as four times less than what Trump's uh, Treasury Secretary and former um, one of the top people at Goldman Sachs are proposing so and then you have Pelosi that during a meeting last week there was um, some type of I don't know some some advisor there I don't believe they are a member of Congress but just some type of advisor on this issue who is who is suggesting some type of um, you know UBI or universal basic income to help people who have been affected by this and as soon as that was brought up she she left the meeting and then we know the um, basically the paid sick leave package that the Democrats passed only covers 20 percent of workers doesn't cover this is the really the fucked up part in my opinion doesn't cover workers who work for companies that have over 500 employees so you know places like microsoft amazon mcdonald's walmart all these huge giant corporations would be exempt from having to actually provide their employees with sick leave so that's what the democratic establishment came up with nothing a big fucking goose egg 20 percent of workers getting paid sick leave while the Republicans in the Senate and Trump looks like they're going to actually be to the left of the Democratic establishment on this issue and then of course you know the Democratic establishment could be listening to people like Ro Khanna who proposed um, this uh, emergency earned income tax credit that would um, give I believe Americans like well it depends how much you make but you know thou several thousands of dollars back um, if you made below a certain amount last year then you would be getting this emergency earned income tax credit and then you obviously you have Bernie's plan two thousand dollars for every household hundred percent um, unemployment uh, insurance up to seventy-five thousand dollars a year it would be capped at uh, a moratorium on um, evictions which actually I think Trump just proposed um, so that's good and then Bernie was also calling for a moratorium or a um, you know people for not people not having to pay any student loan debt um, during this time I think Trump called for the interest to be canceled I'm not sure if he is advocating for nobody to have to make student payments at this point and Bernie was also calling um, you know for a moratorium on utilities getting shut off due to um, past debt so I mean it's it's really telling at this point that the Republican Party um, at least you know some members are able to be more populist in their coronavirus response than the just totally decrepit and immoral democratic establishment and again it's the working people the people the most marginalized people and groups 
within the U.S. who are being most negatively impacted by the coronavirus right now and the Democratic establishment because they're, you know, wealthy and powerful. They have paid sick leave through their, you know, governmental jobs. They, they make a lot of money. They're powerful. They're wealthy. So, um, but, you know, the thing is, this virus doesn't doesn't discriminate it's going to affect a lot of people including people in these really um, you know powerful and wealthy positions so honestly it would make sense for people in the democratic establishment to actually put put forward some progressive populist ideas to help the working class during this this pandemic or you know a lot of people are more people are going to end up dying and a lot of people in the democratic establishment are older folks so they're going to be impacted by this as well that's why you know like what bernie's proposing we need to make sure people are able to get tested and get treated for this at no cost 100 percent unemployment insurance up to capped at seventy five thousand dollars a year um no no evictions no people shouldn't be having it all student loan debt should be canceled at this point and as well as you know cash payments at least the two grand per per household I think it should be at least two grand per individual um, so I mean it's it's very telling when the Republicans in Senate and it looks like Trump's White House are going to be to the left of the Democratic establishment with these economic measures that they're proposing and again Kamala Harris is proposing a, it, was, it sounded like it was mean te means tested too it wasn't even universal here, here you go. Maybe you get 250 bucks if you pass these certain requirements during this pandemic. That's basically the Democrats' response, and the Republicans are to the left of them on that. Nope. Mitt Romney's like, nope. Here's a thousand bucks. Senator Tom Cotton's like, nope. We need more than that. And then, I think it was there's another senator, or congressperson, I think Josh Hawley or something, who's also Republican, who is proposing more generous um, benefits than what the democratic establishment are. I think that really just tells you that we we need to form a viable third third party in the United States because it's clear there's there's no reforming the democratic party. It's just full of corporate neoliberal centrists who want to prop up capital at all costs and do not give a shit about the working class people in the in the United States at all and this again is just a clear example of that um, I would love to hear your thoughts about what type of economic measures you think make sense to help people out during this coronavirus pandemic and you know I was listening to democracy now on my bike ride out to this spot practicing some social distancing while getting some exercise and one in five households has either been laid off or had their hours cut at their place of employment. This could end up being potentially as bad as the Great Depression and then you have the democratic establishment just totally dragging their feet and not putting up anything that's nearly um, necessary for addressing this pandemic and complete economic crisis that the US is experiencing right now. So. Please share your thoughts in the comment section down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. Much love.